Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha on the How To video. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about what is the best motorcycle protective clothing that you can wear. Catch you inside. Revelator Alpha. Hello again, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're enjoying the series uh, so far. Please uh, subscribe and uh, hit the notifications bell so you get all the latest videos. So, in this video, I'm really going to be talking about what is the best motorcycle uh, clothing, protective clothing that you can wear when you're out uh, riding on your motorcycle. So I've been riding for you know nearly 40 years or so, you know, on road, off road. Uh, I've worn all sorts of protective clothing, of course, but I've also uh, been working in the emergency services for 20 plus years. So within that time, I've attended uh, over well over a thousand motorcycle accidents. So I've seen all the incidents, all the accidents, all the reasons for motorcycle accidents and all the injuries and, and unfortunately fatalities as well. But I've also seen how protection works and where it works and where it doesn't work. So first of all, what you've got to consider that, that any motorcycle protective clothing is not a force field around you. It will not protect you in all situations. In general terms, all motorcycle protective clothing will protect you against um, light imp or small impacts or at low angle impacts. So if you are skidding across the ground, for example, your protective clothing will protect you up to a certain degree. If you start bouncing or if you hit a, something hard like a wall or a lamppost, it's not really gonna protect you um, that much. It won't protect you from the impact. It won't absorb any of the, um, the impact forces. Now, if you wear in motorcycle protective clothing that has got built-in armor, so one on the elbows, on the shoulders, a back protector, that kind of thing, they will offer you a certain amount of protection up to a certain point. And this is what I want to stress to all of you, is that all protective clothing, whether it's a helmet, whether it's a boot, whether it's jacket or trousers, whatever it is, gloves, they will all protect you up to a certain point. They'll reach a performance limit and then they won't... Uh, we won't protect you anymore. Okay, so which is the, the worst and which is the best? Okay, so let's start from right at the bottom. So let's say that uh, you're riding and it's hot and sunny and uh, you're just gonna be wearing flip-flops and shorts and t-shirt, okay? That's your decision. I'm not, gonna, I'm not here to tell you what is right or wrong in that respect. Well, you can imagine that if you fall off the, the motorcycle, you get knocked off, you fall off, whatever the case is, you'll have zero protection against impact, against sliding against the ground, skin abrasion, tissue damage, or anything like that. There'll be zero protection. Okay, so you, you're looking by, you know, you're gonna be lucky to get away without any serious injuries. If you just start wearing normal clothes, let's say the clothes that I'm wearing now, then you won't have any impact protection, but you might have some uh, a mild form of resistance against uh, any kind of skin abrasion or tissue damage as your clothing grabs uh, the, the surface, for example, if you're skidding across the ground. It will protect you a little bit, but we're talking microseconds here or milliseconds here. Okay. Then if you start on the next level, so let's say you have a, a, an apt, uh, a an appropriate motorcycle protective clothing. So let's say, for example, we have a, a Kevlar line jeans, that kind of thing, okay? Well, actually, they're really good for um, protecting against uh, skin abrasion, you know, road rash, that kind of thing. But they'll work up to a certain limit. Uh, actually, on the impact, on the on the on the impact, or where the clothing is being impacted, and um, where the Kevlar lining is, that will protect you. If you're wearing padding within it, that will protect you even more against an impact, up to a certain point. If you're wearing textile trousers, for example, motorcycle, you know, textile trousers, breathable uh, stuff. Again, that'd be exactly the same thing. They'll provide uh, some. Uh, elements of protection against a road rash, you know, when you're sliding against the ground. Uh, if you've got built-in padding, that'll be great as well. Then, ultimately, the best 
uh, the, the best performing material will always be leather and thicker leather. The, the thicker the leather, the better performing it will be. Now, there are different types of leather, of course, and everybody wants to make, you know, um, different assumptions or different assertions about uh, the quality of different leather. Essentially, leather is leather. And, you know, it, there might be, you know, minute differences between the two, but in practical terms, it doesn't make much difference at all. So you've got to look at, you know, leather's going to protect you more against skin abrasion, whatever. If you've got padding within it, you know, elbow, shoulders, back protector, that kind of thing, that's going to protect you, you know, to, to a certain degree. But any, any um, item of protective clothing will only work up to a certain limit. So if you come off the bike and you hit something hard, then it won't protect you. You know, it's, it's a falsehood to think that, you know, you will be protected. And I hear this all the time at, at accident scenes that, you know, people talking about this sort of stuff, uh, you know, in, in the pubs and the biker hangout places. Oh, yeah, I've got all this gear and it's going to protect me. No, it isn't. No, it won't. No, it won't. Unfortunately, it won't. That's the reality. Everybody likes to think that it will, but it won't. If you are just skidding along the floor and you don't actually hit anything, yes, it, it will give you some protection, absolutely right. And the thicker the material, the harder the material, the harder the resistance of that material, let's say leather, textile leather, then you'll get more protection. But if you're not wearing it, you know, you, you won't get any protection. But if you soon you have an impact, that's it, you'll have broken bones, internal organ damage, you, you might even have uh, fatalities or whatever. Okay, so it really depends. So the best protective clothing will be the one that um, can provide some kind of impact resistance with padding for example or can provide some uh, you know road rash resistance uh, you know road abrasion resistance uh, for you anything else really you know it's just you know look at the draw really so you know now if you've got boots with kind of armored boots and some protection again okay that will protect you up to a certain point as well but again, it's not going to protect you in all, uh, in all situations. Um, same with a helmet. A helmet will protect you up to a certain point. Uh, but in a really heavy impact, it's not really going to protect you. Remember, you know, your body is a, a very weak um, vessel, if you like. It's very prone to injury, both external. So you might not have any external injuries, but internal injuries, you might have lots of injuries. So your organs uh, in impact, they will push forward and they will bounce back and push forward. And then they will kind of do this inside your body as well. So, you know, it's a sobering thought, I know, but this is something that you need to know if you're really going to be thinking about what motorcycle protective clothing can I wear and will it really protect me? Yes, it will but only up to a certain point. So your best defence about right, uh, for riding safety is r improving your riding skills, your riding awareness, and your hazard per perception, that kind of thing. Once you're not getting into the situations where you can have a, an accident and can be f fall off your bike or get knocked off your bike, whatever the case may be, then you're going to be in a much better position to not sustain any injuries. But if you did come off the bike or knocked off the bike, then the better the clothing you're wearing, you know, the, the more protection you're going to have. Okay, but, you know, if you're going to ride like a fool, then unfortunately, you know, at some point you're going to be caught out and regardless of what you're wearing. So, that's uh, that's a video, sobering thought, I know, but I say, you know, that's the best motorcycle clothing. The best motorcycle protection that you can get is yourself and how you ride and how you think about your riding. And anyway, I hope this helps. I hope you like the video. Please uh, give it a like. And if you've got any comments below, you know, put those down below as well. I'm sure you'll have your all or all, all have opinions as well. But uh, subscribe and hit the notification notifications bell, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers now.